Hello, and good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you all, the good and wonderful people of the Tube. Hope today, hope you're grand, and those when your world, here we are, people of the Tube, finally! It is my review of my, not somebody else's, this is actually mine! Uh, my Gibson, uh, 2002 Les Paul Standard in, uh, Iced Tea Burst. It's absolutely gorgeous, this thing. Um, this was one of those moments in life where you find an instrument and you just have to have it this was not uh planned when i went when i got this guitar it wasn't thought of it was just one of those things well let me tell you the story so uh me and queenie when we go down and do um anderton's videos uh sounds like or if queenie's doing the bass like whatever what we do we always go down a day before we're due to film. And the reason we do that is we go around the shop to see what they've got in in the shop that we can use for sounds like, you know, to make sure, like, you know, when we get there on the day, there isn't something missing that we, we might need, so to say, and we might have to order in or, or whatever. Anyway, um, we were just looking around the shop, nosing around, seeing what there was, and... I, I just happen to look at the Les Paul wall. I always do, because I'm always curious. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm always curious. Anyway, I saw about this much of this guitar, because it was hung on the wall, and there was one in front of it. And I was like, what's that? And it, it literally... I think we'd only been in the shop maybe... three minutes, if that. And I saw that part of this guitar, and I was like, what's that? Um... So I went over to it and I, I I picked it down off off the hanger, and I just looked at it and went, "That is absolutely gorgeous," because I I had seen a lot of standards uh, up to that point in Andertons and elsewhere and all over the place, and not a single one of them made me kind of go, "Oh, I want I would like one of them. Oh, I want that one." Anyway, I saw this one, and it's got a very understated kind of like it is a flame. It is absolutely flamey to the max, but you have to get it in the right light. Some light, this thing looks like a plain top. Some light, it looks like a real massive flame top. And then some lights, it looks like semi-flame. It's really strange. It's got this amazing wood figuring. It kind of goes around the tailpiece. Anyway, I just saw it and I was like, I really like the way that looks. Anyway, I got it down and I was like, ooh, it's not very heavy at all. And I did, I did the criminal mistake of just playing a note on it. Whatever note it was. And I just went, ah, oh dear. And I literally was like, oh, F words. And um, I just turned to Queenie and I was like, I like it. And this is the first time this has happened with me on a Gibson for a long time. Uh, I haven't played a Gibson for a long time, but I wish I could own. You know what I mean? I just haven't. I, I haven't played one where I've picked it up and gone, wow, that's amazing. I, I, I need that. But this one changed that. I was just like, ah. Uh, hmm. And I was like, oh, God, what do I do? <laughs> um, and I basically proceeded to cack myself, people with YouTube, because I was like, Oof. Anyway, this had just been put out that day. There was no price tag on this thing at this, at this point in time. And I was just like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And I put it back. I think I played one note on it and went... And something like that. And I put it back on the wall and was like, I, I can't. I, I need to walk away. I need to walk away. I can't I can't be that involved with a guitar that's not mine. Uh, and that much, you know, that, it has that much of a, a pull on me. So I walked away. And we left the shop, went to the travel lodge, and I couldn't get this guitar out of my head. I couldn't get it out of my head. The way it feels and the way it spoke to me and the way it just was and the way it looked as well, I was just like, I can't get it out of my head. And I must have driven Queens absolutely mental that night because all I was talking about was the guitar. And I was just like, I don't know what to do. 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 Ah. So... And I was like, what if it's sold? Because we went in in the afternoon. And I was like, what if it's sold? What if somebody comes in tomorrow and buys it? And I was like, oh. And I was in proper crisis mode. Anyway, all night long. And I, I found it hard to sleep. I was just like, I couldn't get this guitar out of my head. It just 
hit me like a ton of bricks this did. And I say, that is the first time a Gibson has done that in a long time. I think the last Gibson I really, really, really wish I could have owned was a Gary Moore signature Les Paul we had in old hats. So that would have been like 2014, 2015. And obviously I had a gold top for a while, but the Gary Moore was amazing. Anyway, I picked this one up and I was just like, oh, that beats all the ones that I thought I liked. Anyway, and beats any kind of anything. And I was just like, oh, you know, on that on that scale, if you will. So I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. Anyway, went into the shop the next morning and we, yeah, we were talking about it. And I, I happened to talk about this guitar and saying like, oh, it's quite like it. Anyway, went down to the shop floor to start filming and it's still there. Pooja, it's still hung on the, on, on the thing. And I'm just like, oh. So I said, can I put it aside? Can Because I want to try it. After, after I finish filming, I want to take it to one of the little booths in Anderton's and I want to play it. I just want to sit down and play it. Even though I could feel something going through it. It's really hard to describe it. It sounds really stupid, but like I could feel something was going on with this guitar. And they said, yeah, no worries. Anyway, I got told, why don't you just bring it up to the video room and you can play on it while, you know, when we're, when we're done. And I was like, okay. So I, I took it up to the video room and I was playing around with it uh, on uh, on Pete's Friedman little sister, the blue Friedman little sister. And no one helped. No one helped. Everyone was just like, you need to buy that, Dave. And I was like, you're not, you're not supposed to be encouraging this behavior. But everyone was like... That you you might need to buy that. It's that's a really you know it really looks it suits you. It suits your playing. And I was like, mm -hmm. so I thought I can't I can't stand the idea of losing this guitar. I can't I can't I, I couldn't cope with the idea of like it being sold to somebody else. And I was like, right, I'm gonna get it. I'm just gonna get it. And it bankrupted me, but it was worth it. It really was. And here you go, Pooja Duke. I absolutely adore this guitar. And this is one of those guitars that I am never selling unless something horrifically goes wrong, in which case other things are going first. Because there is something about this guitar that is very heavy and very, very it, it connects with me on a very, 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 very high level. Uh, it's much in the same way as kind of like Mr. White does or the, or, or the Black Strat or um, like... Stuff like uh, um, my uh, my yellow uh, gear for music Telecaster that's behind you there, or my Chapman, or or my East Coast Les Paul over there. There's something in this guitar that is on is 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 the same as all the other guitars that I just feel like I love, and the Red Oswalds, for instance, stuff like that. And I was just like, I've got to have this. I've got to have this in my life. I can't leave without it. So, like I say, my bank account didn't like me. Um, at all, uh, and it was like, you know, how am I going to eat next week? But it was just one of those moments where you just like, screw it, screw it. I don't even care. You know, I'll, I'll go foraging in the woods for mushrooms. Don't do that, kids. Bad idea. Anyway, um, but I was just like, well, I don't care what happens. I, I'm going to walk out of this shop today with this guitar, and I did, and it's here, and I'm never letting it go, and it's just incredible absolutely incredible i love it to bits and it sounds the way i want it to sound it feels the way i want it to feel and when i play it it brings out i feel slightly different things in me which is important i like that it's you know it's, it this doesn't feel like any of my other les pauls this feels like a totally different beast it doesn't feel like any guitar i have actually to be perfectly honest with you all my guitars feel different and this one feels mega different, like to, especially on the Les Paul front. It's really, I don't know what it is. Anyway, got lost in it today. Um, we're still getting to know each other as well. And I'm I'm loving it at this point in time. Like I say, um, I actually bought this guitar in March. I'm filming this at the beginning of April. This video isn't going out till June because of a backlog of videos. But we're still getting to know each other. But... It is one of those things of like, this is just, this was meant to be. And I wasn't even looking for a Les Paul, especially not Gibson. You know what I mean? It, it, and in all fairness, people, it, it isn't about what it says up there. It was about how it felt. 
and what it feels like to me. And again, I've, I've said that all the time, you know, and I'm, I'm sure some people will be out there going, that's nonsense. You know, you're just saying it because you wanted a Gibson. No, I wasn't. I wanted this guitar. You know, um, it doesn't, I don't care what's written on the headstock. If something feels like this feels, I want it. I, I need it. You know, it's one of those kind of things of like, there's something in this and I don't know what it is, but I kind of like, I can't be without that. I can't be without that. There's something in there. Um, much in the same way as kind of any of my guitars, you know. Um, there's just something about them that's, that's very, very special, and I, I just have to have that. But um, this guitar is amazing. Uh, its build quality blew my mind. Uh, I have done one. I have done one change to this paper tube, apart from restringing it. Um, I took the original strings off simply because I wanted to keep them as the original strings. So I've got the original strings this guitar came with, unbroken, because I didn't want to break them uh, in a safe place. Um, because I don't want to break them. Because again, this is guitar, this guitar's never gonna leave me. I just, I can't fathom that idea. It's like a, like a lot of my guitars, like, you know, things, other things will sell before this leaves me. And you'd have to pry it out of my cold, dead hands. But the only thing I have changed people with tube is I have put uh, high wall, I call them high wall, uh, pickup rings on this. When it came, it had like a smaller pickup rings on the guitar and I don't particularly like them on Les Paul. So I bought some uh, some of the high wall ones and, and, and put them on there. And I have the originals, again, where the original strings are and all that kind of jazz. Uh, other than that, oh yeah, and I've changed over the standard truss rug cover for the blank one, the, the just the, the standard black one that they have in the case with the guitar, because I, di I didn't like the standard. It, it, it with the with the white lettering on this truss rug cover, I find the headstock feels a bit cluttered for my eyes, if that makes any sense. Like we're right in there, right in there, and right in at the top. It just felt a bit cluttered. But either way, Pichu, I am heavily in love with this guitar, and it feels great. It looks insane, and I have to keep pinching myself to say that this is mine. Because I've been lent so many Les Pauls over the years, and I've 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 loved them. I you know, I've, I've liked a lot of them, include especially one that my friend Mike lent me, which was absolutely amazing. But none of them have stacked up to this one. They really haven't. And it, again, it isn't about this. It isn't about that name. It's about the guitar as a whole. There is something in here that is very very special, and it was. It's one of those moments where it's like, it's really weird to say, but it's like, it almost feels like this guitar was made for me. I feel that way about Mr. White as well. It's like, you know, that guitar was made for me. It was supposed to come to me. And the same way about this guitar. This is not second hand. This is first hand. I'm the own, you know, I'm the first owner of this guitar and I will, you know, I'll be the only owner of this until I'm not here anymore. And then it'll go to somebody else. But until then, this isn't going nowhere. It's absolutely amazing. I've already gigged it, and I intend to gig it more if I can get gigs. Um, and it felt great live. Uh, I've got this huge strap on it because it's quite heavy. Uh, not massively heavy, but after a certain period of time, it does get pretty mental uh, on a thinner strap. But this strap has rectified that. I can play this thing for hours stood up with this strap, and I'm happy. The neck on it is fantastic. Everything about it is amazing. I have never seen such clean cavities either in a guitar. Like whoever put this thing together really cared. You know, in this inside the pickup cavities, there's no buffing compound. There's no sawdust. There's no bits of wood inside the control ca cavity. There's nothing. It, it's clean as a whistle. This guitar and that, that blew me away because I'm always used to seeing like buffing compound left in things or or bits of wood chip or whatever. But no. And uh, anyway, I've I've spoke far too much. I'm gonna let you hear this thing now, Pikachu. It's just incredible. Um, it's just standard as well. Like I've I have no desire to change anything on this. It's got Grover machine heads. Um, I forget what the nut is now. Uh, it's got the burst buckers uh, in there. Uh, it's got the reflector knobs, which I absolutely adore and love because I prefer them to the bell top because they're easier to get to. Uh, they're taller, so they're easier to get to. And yeah, it's a 60s standard, by the way, people tube as well. It's not a 50s standard, this is a 60s standard. And I love it. And you're going to see a lot more of it. Uh, I'm not going to use it in every video, obviously, because um, I like variety and certain, you know, certain things will cry. But you will see it. And again, it's going nowhere. It's going absolutely nowhere. And if it does, I'm going to just cry. 
I'm going to cry. Let's put it that way. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this vid, people. I hope you enjoyed what comes out of this thing. Like I say, we're still kind of getting to know each other at this point in time. It's still the kind of um, the learning period of where I can go with this thing and what what we're doing when we put, when we when we work together. It's core. Cool. There's some of the things coming out of this guitar which are really, really strange, and I like it. it it's really, really, really strange. But again, anyway, I'm going to shut up gushing because I, I can't help it. But yeah, just just another look at the top, people, at you. Because again, in certain lights, the flame goes away, but then you get it in certain lights and the flame pops. But it's just insane. And when I first saw it, I thought it was a plain top. Because it kind of looked like that. But then you turn it in the light, and all of a sudden, it pops out at you. So yeah, there we go, people. Uh, it was just one of those guitars that I just had to have, and I love, and it smells amazing, um, <laughs> feels amazing, sounds amazing. It's the perfect. It's the sound I want in a Les Paul. You know, it, it, it's 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 the same as kind of like a Revelation, the Lemon Drop, the the East Coast the Gold Top. There, it's got that thing. It's got that kind of like you know that that, that Telecaster twang, but on steroids thing. And it's amazing. Anyway, I'm going to shut up gushing, like I said. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video with you. If you like the channel, like the videos I do here, please consider becoming a patron at Patreon. Links to that down there. Uh, as well as links to uh, my band camp. Link that down there as well. Uh, and other than that, I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see you again very soon for another one. Have a great morning, afternoon, good evening. Goodbye now. Thank you very much for watching.